Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to discuss the recent alleged subtweets between Jeffree Star and Manny MUA. Now, I've covered their friendship, their divorce, and everything in between, but recently it's been super quiet on both ends. Now, we know this relationship is strictly for the gram and that there is no actual friendship between them, but they've done an excellent job playing cat and mouse on social media to keep up appearances. Manny's been liking Jeffree's posts on Instagram, and Jeffree will toss a comment at Manny on Twitter, but they still haven't been seen together since 900 BC. Although they have yet to confirm the status of their friendship, it's time to accept that they are no longer friends but remained amicable publicly up until April 8th when Manny posted this tweet which has now been deleted. He said, When you're casually strolling on Tumblr and see an old friend's nudes. Located in the thread of Manny's tweet was a reply including a nude photo of Jeffrey's boyfriend Nathan. Now, to be clear, it wasn't Manny who posted it, it was someone else in response to Manny's tweet. Jeffrey replies to Manny's tweet saying, Isn't life a drag? Never a dull moment moment on the internet. He says hi. Now, to the average person, that would look like a general conversation between two people faking a friendship for the gram. However, the use of life's a drag was made to look like a play on words, but those words hold a deeper meaning. Those three words were used as a means to grab Manny's attention because only Manny and those close to him would know what those words actually meant. Life's a drag is actually the name of Manny's first palette for Lunar Beauty, which he hadn't revealed yet. Now, although this is public information as the trademark for same is accessible and available to anyone to look up, Jeffrey literally leaked the name of Manny's palette. That would be like me saying, I'm just sitting here with my usual resting bitch face because everyone who knows me knows that I wear my RBF every day. But imagine that was actually the name of someone's upcoming product. <gasps> gasp. Or what if I said I wanted a product that would give me mannequin skin in a bottle, kind of like mannequin foundation. That would probably mean nothing to you, however, if you know, you know. Anyway, Jeffrey continues on by tweeting, when someone tries to be shady but fails, sums up this afternoon. Let's stop here and discuss. So Jeffrey assumes that Manny is subtweeting about seeing Nate's nudes on Tumblr, therefore he then retaliates and leaks Manny's palette. My question is, why would Jeffrey assume that Manny was talking about Nate when everything had been peaceful between them publicly. I mean, that tweet could have been about anyone. It just doesn't make sense that after months of putting on a show for the public, liking and commenting on each other's posts, in an effort to appear amicable and doing a great job of it, that Manny would throw it all away in a subtweet about Nate. Now, of course, I'm not saying that it's impossible that Manny was subtweeting about Nate. I'm saying it just doesn't make sense to me. Like, why? Everything has been so calm between them. Why would Manny intentionally rock the boat? Surely he knows that he'd be playing with fire in doing so. Would he be that stupid to risk the potential showdown that everyone's been waiting for just before the launch of his brand? Now, I know people will say Manny could be doing this for publicity for Lunar Beauty, but this is not the type of publicity anyone would want for their brand. I get it, people say any publicity is good publicity, but going up against Jeffrey as a PR move is extremely risky, and I just don't think Manny would be willing to take that risk. Jeffrey is a wild card, you never know what you're gonna get, and I think Manny of all people would know that if you play with fire, you're bound to get burned. The whole thing just wasn't adding up to me, so I reached out to Manny to ask whether his tweet was about Nate, and although he remained tight-lipped about the incident, he did say that the tweet was not about Nate. He also advised that the reason he deleted his tweet was because people were dropping Nate's nudes in the thread. Now, I know people will say of course he'd deny it, but what he said fit in line with what I saw. I watched this all go down live. Once I saw Jeffrey respond with life's a drag, I put both Manny and Jeffrey on notifications as I thought there was going to be a huge blowout between them, as I knew the name of the palette and I knew what Jeffrey was doing. Doing. Now, here's the thing. No one was speculating as to who Manny was referring to until Jeffrey brought attention to the situation. That's when people started digging up Nate's nudes and placing them in the thread. Jeffrey basically directed traffic to his man's nudes, even if Manny was subtweeting about Nate. If Jeffrey remained silent and didn't draw attention to the situation, people would have thought Manny was talking about a random, but Jeffrey put that link there. To be honest, Nate's nudes have been circulating the internet for quite some time now, so this isn't new. There's even a video of him playing pleasuring himself in the shower, and if I'm being totally honest, I've even received DMs from people in the past who have allegedly exchanged nudes with Nate via Snapchat. My understanding is that the nudes in question were taken from Snapchat and put onto Tumblr. Just to be clear, I did not entertain these DMs, but there is a common theme between them. That being, they all claim to have traded nudes. As for the date of these nudes, it's hard to say, but Jeffrey commented on the time frame, which we'll get into in a bit. Anyway, getting back to the timeline. The day following Manny's alleged subtweet, 
date being April 9th, Jeffrey still wasn't done with his expose. In case people didn't catch on the first time, he tweeted, Life's a drag, in caps, just kidding, it's actually beautiful and we can create our own destiny. Believe in yourself and don't let anyone stand in your way. Five minutes later, he tweeted, Isn't it crazy when you stay in your own lane and mind your business? People still want to act slick and talk shit? Remember, those people are beneath you and dealing with their own demons. Smile and move on. On April 10th, Jeffrey tweets about the situation again. He says, when someone messes with your family or loved ones, the gloves will come off. Now, here's where things get interesting. Someone replies to Jeffrey's tweet and says, the real question is why someone had the nudes. Dot, 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 not my problem, but why was it out there? Jeffrey responds and says, they were before we met and taken in his old house. LOL. People really save these things and try to use them to cause pain and drama. It's really gross and sad. Interestingly, Jeffrey deleted his response and word on the street is that the reason for deletion is because Jeffrey was clocked on saying the nudes were taken before him and Nate got together, but if you date the photos using Nate's tattoos, it appears they were done while he and Jeffrey were together. So you know my nosy ass went sifting through Nate's Instagram and lo and behold there are photos of Nate getting his leg tattoo of a deer done on August 23rd, 2015, which would have been approximately five months after he and Jeffrey started dating. I'm trying to look at this from all angles, but I don't see any other way to interpret this as photos and timestamps don't lie. Nate clearly has two tattoos in the nude photos, one of which is documented on his Instagram page during the time they were together. I thought perhaps the deer could be a cover-up of a previous tattoo, but you can see that the deer is being put on clear and inkless skin. I don't know what else to say other than yes, that could potentially be the reason why Jeffrey deleted his tweet. Anyway, back to the subtweet. Listen, don't get me wrong. I can totally understand Jeffrey's reaction if Manny leaked Nate's nudes or something of that nature 100%, but Jeffrey did what he did based on an assumption of a subtweet. Again, these nudes are nothing new to the internet. I can understand if these nudes just dropped and Manny tweeted what he did. That would be obvious, but I'm thinking Jeffrey could have jumped the gun, so to speak, in this situation, but I could be totally wrong. Now, as I said earlier, Manny has remained tight-lipped about this situation other than to give me a one liner and for your information, I did attempt to reach out to Jeffrey which I was previously able to do on Instagram, however, I am now blocked from that platform as well. But I did try, next time I'll send out a bat signal. Anyway, Jeffrey also went on to post a mini snap rant, yesterday being April 10th, once again addressing the issue as seen here. Well, first of all, Snapchat, thank you so much for bringing back my favorite filter for me, I fucking live for you. Um, but anyway, hi everyone, how are ya? I just want to come on here real quick and say something because bitch twitter is a mother fucking mess this morning let me say one thing when i tweet something out don't don't think you always know what it's about sometimes i just have random thoughts and that's what twitter is honey um but just know that i'm living my best life i am so happy everything is just perfect and life is so fucking beautiful um and just remember if someone wants to mess with you your your, your loved ones and your family. I just think that there should be a rule where if you wanna try someone, get ready for the clap back. But I told myself 2018, we're gonna fucking smile because we've had enough rage and anger <laughs> to last us a lifetime from the internet and, and just everything. So you know what, y'all? You can think you know what I'm talking about. You, you, probably, you probably are correct. Um, but if you don't, it doesn't matter. Focus on you, focus on your dreams, your life, your goals. Fuck them, baby. Interestingly, he basically tells people not to assume what his tweets are about, yet later says that people have likely interpreted them correctly. Aside from that, did anyone else catch the shade he threw at Manny? If not, here's Manny's snap from the other day, wherein he mistakenly thought Snapchat created a custom filter for his birthday, yet later realized everyone had the same filter. I'll include Jeffrey's shade at the end of Manny's snap. How the fuck does Snapchat have a birthday, a Manny MUA birthday filter? three days after my birthday. It doesn't matter though, because it's the thought that counts. So thank you guys. So apparently, everyone has the uh, filter. It's not just Manny's day. It's everyone's day. <laughs> I'm an idiot. 
<laughs> First of all, Snapchat, thank you so much for bringing back my favorite filter for me. I fucking live for you. Girl, three days later and Jeffrey is still going. Now, I'm gonna throw this out there, but could it be that Jeffrey is baiting Manny and used his tweet as a launching pad to do so because if you remember way back in one of my previous videos, I predicted that Jeffrey would come for Manny right before his launch and guess what's right around the corner? Or could Jeffrey be dragging this out to deflect from the fact that the dates of the nudes are not in line with the time frame he alleged in his deleted tweet? These are just my conspiracies. What I do know for sure is that this friendship charade is definitely over, which may actually be a relief for both of them. One more thing before I go. In regards to trademarks, I just want to show you that whenever someone registers a trademark, it becomes public information. So just as Manny's life's a drag trademark is public, so are all of Jeffrey's. As you can see, he's got his new glosses and concealers, and you can actually see the design of the components here too, which look really cool. But anyway, again, this is all public. Anyway, you guys, I want to know what you think. Do you think Manny was subtweeting about Nate? Do you think Jeffrey is baiting Manny? into a showdown or do you think Jeffrey is deflecting attention off the fact that timestamps don't lie? Also let me know what you think of the nudes, well not your actual opinion of the nudes but the dating of them. By the way the nudes are everywhere in everyone's video and all over the internet so please don't come for me for including them in my video. That is it you guys, thank you so much for watching, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and follow me on Twitter, Instagram and Snapchat at here for the t 2 Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll talk to you guys again soon in my next video. Bye!